Hi, this is David Kerner with Touchpoint Property Management in Charlotte, North Carolina. And today I want to discuss with you landlord insurance and tenant liability insurance, which is also referred to as renter's insurance. And it's important to understand that we are not insurance brokers or agents, so definitely talk with your insurance company if you need more detailed information. So let's first go into landlord insurance. You're going to need landlord insurance when you do not reside in the home that you rent out. It's important for landlords to understand that regular homeowner insurance policies in most cases does not cover rental properties. Second, let's get into tenant liability insurance or renter's insurance. Typically, neither homeowners or landlord insurance will cover the tenant's personal property or damage caused by the tenant. So if a tenant causes damage to the property, they're typically held liable. In most cases, tenants do not have financial means to cover the damages, or it's just too difficult to collect the money from them. With tenant liability insurance, it helps to minimize the liability. So let's say that the tenant damages your property. Instead of making a claim against your landlord or homeowner's insurance policy, you can make a claim on the tenant's liability insurance policy. This means that the insurance rate should not go up because you're not making a claim against your own policy. As property managers, we mandate that our tenants must carry tenant liability insurance. This is to protect the landlords and also the tenants. Another thing that tenants should be made aware of is that their personal contents are not covered by landlord insurance. So if it is in the tenant's best interest to have renter's insurance, in most cases, if the rental property becomes uninhabitable as a result of, let's say, fire, for example, a good renter's insurance policy will pay for the tenant's room and board at a hotel while the problem is being resolved. Now, this is great for a landlord because they can limit their own liability of having to pay those expenses to the tenant. So let's talk about who pays for tenant liability insurance and how much does it cost on average. Tenant, the tenants usually pay for it, and in some cases, a landlord will pay for it, and they'll charge the tenant for it. The average cost of tenant liability insurance is roughly around $15 a month in the Charlotte, North Carolina area, depending on the level of coverage that you carry. Now, whose name should be on the tenant liability insurance policy and how should it be managed? The answer is the tenant, the landlord, and or the property manager. Uh, the property manager can work with the tenant and insurance company to get it set up and it's highly recommended that your property manager is listed as an interested party on the policy so that we can monitor and have control over the policy to make sure that it's up to date and in place during the full term of the lease. Next, how do you get tenant liability insurance? Tenant liability insurance can be acquired in a few different ways. The tenant can use their own insurance policy or the homeowner can use theirs. Or the property manager can recommend an insurance company that they use and set it all up and make the process easier for everyone. So if you have any questions about your rental property and uh, tenant liability insurance or landlord insurance, give me a call. I'm happy to help. Thanks a lot.